to learn how to make your own explosions? Today we're going to demonstrate the Science Buddies project idea, getting a bang out of breath sprays. It'll be a perfect chance to learn about homemade explosions and understand the science of it too. Here we have the materials for our experiment. Our three sizes of drill bits, a piece of plywood, a pressure gauge, a grill igniter to set off the explosion, a drill, a film canister and lid, a hot glue gun, and a few pairs of safety goggles for eye protection. First, glue the cap of the canister to the plywood. Make sure to apply enough hot glue for a tight seal. Now drill through both the cap and the plywood at the same time. Make sure to leave enough room for both the pressure gauge and the igniter. Carefully press the igniter through the plywood and the cap. Attach any metal fittings necessary to keep the igniter in place. Test the sparker, making sure that you can see a visible spark between both leads. Now that we've constructed the system, let's talk about the chemistry behind this explosion. You can see here that we have ethanol from the breath spray combining with oxygen gas. Those are the reactants. We add activation energy in the form of a spark, and we find our products are water vapor and carbon dioxide gas, as well as heat. While we start with just three gas molecules, seen here, we end up with five gas molecules, both the water and the carbon dioxide. Now let's talk about the physics of the explosion. When you increase the temperature of the system, the pressure also increases. Then, by combining this with an increased number of gas molecules, which also increases the pressure, we get an explosion, a rapid expansion of the gas. Note that this is also a fixed volume container, meaning that while the gas can expand out from underneath the container, propelling it upward, the container itself always has the same volume. Now that we've loaded the fuel into the film canister, we'll assemble the system. Make sure that everything comes together and that you have a nice tight seal. Looks good. Make sure we have our eye protection, stand back for safety, and let's go. Wow, that was loud. <laughs> so, do you want to try this project idea for yourself? For more guidelines on developing this experiment into a full science fair project, follow the link to sciencebuddies.org. You'll find all you need to know about variables, data collection, and even other cool project ideas. Thanks for watching.